Hi, my name is Natalie Yeadon, and I'm one of the co-owners and managing directors for Impetus Digital. We are online advisory board experts, and we've been doing this for about seven years, so we really are pioneers in this space. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, now that you have decided with your team or your group or um, has been a request from senior leadership that you're going to need to look for some more cost efficient ways of running your traditional consultancy meetings um, and have come to the conclusion that a great way to do this would be to create an online advisory board. Um, you're going to probably need to start considering some things about how to select the best vendor for doing or helping you with creating an online advisory board. Um, the first piece is really obviously about the best type of software or the company with the best type of digital technology or platform. And um, so some things to be considering on, on this front is really needing to make sure that the, um, the company has really secure, a really secure platform. Um, something that is you know, specifically SSL encrypted it's got you know, a variety of things like fail safes and redundancies, intrusion detection systems, uh, daily backups, just a variety of different things that um, ultimately, if uh, there was going to be a risk assessment from the global departments, that it absolutely will pass the test. And so that's a really, really key piece, especially in the environment um, that we work in today. Um, obviously, the platform needs to be password protected, especially if it's cloud based. The other thing that you will need to consider is what the platform looks like to your advisors or specifically your customers. Um, there are a lot of vendors that have a platform that goes through their company website where somebody logs in. So at the end of the day, your customers will be faced with another uh, company's logo and branding colors. And so your identity gets a bit blurred in that process. So our recommendation is usually to consider a vendor that will white label a platform for you. And what that actually means is that you would own your own platform with your own branding, your own URL that would be unique to your company um, or your franchise or brand, um, as well as would have your own logo, et cetera. So it would have the look and feel. So again, it would maintain the brand identity uh, for you and your company. The other piece that's really important, of course, is because as you know, not everybody necessarily works on a PC or a Mac. Um, they're on the go, they might be using a tablet or a phone. So you'll want to ensure that the interfacing or the module or the platform has a completely responsive design and will be uh, usable and friendly to use on any device uh, that somebody chooses to use. Um, certainly, you'll want to use a platform that's simple. Um, a lot of the healthcare stakeholders that you work with, your customers, are busy people. A lot of them are not very tech savvy. Uh, so you'll want to ensure that something is easy to use and they're not spending the whole time trying to learn how to use the platform. So it's got to be self-explanatory with really simple, clean interfacing. And of course, the navigation needs to be very streamlined and simple as well. You'll also need to realize that a lot of your um, stakeholders may also access their asynchronous assignments or the things that you're sending them through their hospital computer or computers that they're using in sort of heavily monitor firewalled situations. Uh, oftentimes work computers are using very, very old browsers and old technology. Uh, so you again, you'll want to ask your vendor um, about their experience with that and how user friendly or accessible the platform is within these sorts of constraints. Um, in addition, you'll want to ensure that the vendor that you choose, uh, choose has created a platform that is specifically geared towards advisory board and working group collaboration, sharing um, and planning. Um, sometimes what you may find is um, a software seller that has actually kind of made it sort of makeshift where um, they've actually added or what we call patchworked um, various types of apps in it that don't necessarily work within the context of an advisory board or working group. So you'll want something that was specifically developed with that in mind and certainly something that's easy to use. And last but not least, you'll want to ensure that the platform that you're using is tried and tested. 
something that has been used for many, many years by multiple clients, uh, multi, you know, uh, multiple uh, healthcare providers who are using, actually using the platform, and that it's something that has been, you know, has some excellent testimonials and that is very highly regarded and simple to use. So um, all of those factors are incredibly important. Um, as you uh, consider and plan uh, for the use or, or securing a vendor for um, your online advisory boards. Um, if you are interested in learning more, I uh, highly recommend that you check out Impetus Digital as our website, www.impetusdigital.com for more information. Um, again, we are experts on the development of online advisory boards and working groups and certainly happy to help you.